guys, it's so good to be able to talk with you today, to be able to share how I feel with each and every one of you. I was thinking about what heaven must be like and how God is so good to each and every one of us. I was thinking, do you ever just sit there and wonder what heaven is like, what God is truly like? Do you ever sit there and take the time to thank God for all of his blessings? Do you ever count your blessings? You know, I really tried to find a way today to bring a video to you. I wanted to bring a video to you and I, I prayed to God and I asked God to connect with me, to connect my heart with his heart and to give me a word to bring to you, to encourage you. And my mind was just a blank. My mind was just void. Sometimes we can feel lost. Sometimes we can feel very distant from God. Sometimes you can feel the presence of God very strong all around you. And when you want God to speak to you, to speak to you in your heart, when you want to connect with him heart to heart, and you want to just experience or you want to just hear his voice. Sometimes it's very difficult to shut out the world. It's very difficult to tune into God. And this morning is one of those mornings where I've been finding it very difficult to tune into to God. And when I think about that, it makes me feel very distant from God. Now I've done a Bible study with my wife this morning and it was a really good word. But now I'm here to do this video and I feel like my mind is just blank. God is just sitting quietly and I've got to come to you guys and try and encourage you. But sometimes, sometimes I need encouragement too. I need encouragement. Nobody really knows what's going on in the heart. Nobody really understands how each of us feel. Nobody really understands how to connect with God when your mind is just blank, when everything seems quiet. And I really do love the Lord with all my heart. And I've got his word open now. But I want, I want to be closer to God. I want my heart to meet with God's heart. Not just the odd time, but every second of my day. And I, I, I praise God, I pray. I'm in his word a lot. And some days you get like this. You get to that point where you feel, God, where are you? Get to that point where God can seem distant. And sometimes that makes us feel vulnerable. And sometimes that makes us feel lonely. And sometimes that makes us question ourselves. So I'm gonna read the word. I'm going to share the word with you, what God gave me, and I, I pray that it will encourage you, and I pray also that it will encourage me. I'll be reading from Galatians chapter 1, so if you would open up your Bibles and join me. Grace be to you and peace from God the Father and from our Lord Jesus Christ, who gave himself for our sins, that he might deliver us from this present evil world, according to the will of God and our Father, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. You know, we are living in a present evil world. There's so much going on all around us. I was thinking about that last night. So many people who are running countries, the governments of all these different countries and no matter where you look in the world, some disaster is happening, some potential wars are happening, political outfighting, hurricanes, floods, disasters. But this says, Grace be to you and peace from God the Father and from our Lord Jesus Christ. That's the only place that we can get peace, is in God's holy word. Grace and peace to you from our Father and from our Lord Jesus Christ because we are living in a present evil world. But Jesus Christ who gave himself for our sins 
that he might deliver us from this present evil world. So Jesus gave himself. He went to the cross at Calvary for each and every one of us so that he could save us from this evil present world. To whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. All glory to you, Lord. All glory to you, Father God. And wanting that connection with God right now and wanting that connection more than anything, even after reading the scripture and feeling his presence. But I can I still cannot connect. But grace and peace to you from God the Father and from our Lord Jesus Christ. So maybe we have to say that to ourselves. Grace and peace to me, to you, from our Father in heaven and our loving Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. So don't be dismayed by all the evil that's going on all around you and all the disasters. Take courage, be encouraged and God will find a way to help you through this mess, to help you through the disasters, to help you through potential wars and all the evil things that we see on the news. Take heart, be encouraged and know that he is God. God will find a way when there seems to be no way. God will truly find a way. I hope you're paying attention to this and I hope that you're listening. There is no other God greater than our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. He is the one and the only true living God and there is none like him. Lord, I praise you, I glorify you and I thank you for every blessing. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Praise you, Lord. Join with me in prayer. Heavenly, gracious Father, I glorify you, Father God. I honour you and I glorify you. I exalt you. I hallow your name. And I thank you for every blessing, Father God. I thank you that you bless me and you bless all of my brothers and sisters in Christ and all of your creation with your grace and with your peace. We thank you for your peace, Father God. Your peace surpasses all understanding, oh Father God. And your grace covers a multitude of sins, Father God. I love you, Father God, and I praise you, Father. And I thank you for this day. In the glorious name of our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ, amen. You can really start to feel, it's not about feelings, but you can really start to not only feel, but you find that when you pray, that the atmosphere shifts from a, a bland, empty atmosphere to an atmosphere filled with God's peace, with God's love, with God's presence. I pray that this word today, this short word, has encouraged you and I pray that you're able to connect with God even on days when you don't really feel like you can connect with God. I pray that you do connect heart to heart, mind to mind and spirit to spirit and that you can not only feel his presence but that you can hear his voice, that you can experience God's peace, that you can experience God's grace. I really want to thank you for spending time with me in God's word and spending time here on Cloud Church TV and I pray that if you're struggling to try to connect with God from your heart to his, from your spirit to his, that you'll remember this video and you'll be encouraged by it. And I really want to thank each and every one of you who leaves a comment, who takes the time to click the subscribe button or who hits that bell icon or who clicks the thumbs up. I want to thank you because that really makes a big difference making videos of any kind is very very difficult and there's a lot of work in the background with editing and all kinds of things setting up the light and getting the camera just right and trying to do things to please you and to please our father god so i, I really appreciate each and every one of you that have left comments and that continue to watch these videos and if you're watching this video in the future please do leave a comment please do like share and subscribe it will mean a great deal 
to to me but it will also help the word of god go out to all the people who really need to hear this message and other messages so i thank you and i appreciate you all and do connect with me and i'll try my very best to answer each and every comment thank you so much you have a wonderful day and god bless you bye for now subscribed please do subscribe to this channel it will help us immensely to get the word of god out to the nations